Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this very special day for us. Uh, we are very happy on this occasion to present the H2C and with us none other than Dr. Tao to do so. Hello Dr. Tao. Hello. How are you? Great. Great, thank you very much for joining us. So people are eager to know uh, about the H2C. There's been a lot going on on the internet about that. Uh, so let's jump right into it and can you tell us what is H2C? Well, H2C is basically our new flagship printer with the tool changing system. All oh, right. And what is the, the backstory behind it? How did it came to life? Well, basically, when we almost finished with X1C, we realized the purge waste, or nowadays they call it bamboo poops, was really a problem. We have to solve it. So we started mm, brainstorming about the solutions before we finish X1C. And uh, you know, at that time, Prusa had already released their uh, XL tool changer. So that's basically one solution. But uh, you know, we tried to find out something you know, more genuine or you know, try to do something better. And uh, to solve the problem of you know, the purge, you, know, you basically need to use multiple tools or multiple nozzles at least. And uh, the difficulty is there are too many options. You know, the whole film pass is, you know, the PPT heavy tube, the extruder, the heating elements, the nozzle, the temperature measurement units. The difficult question is which parts goes, you know, to the tool, which parts stay in the tool in the tool head, and uh, there are various combinations. And uh, beside that, how do you communicate? between the tool and uh, the motherboard. And we had lots of discussions and lots of debates. And we cannot decide which way to go until one moment. And we had a new uh, hardware engineer who joined us. His nickname is Putin. And he told us, I had a genius solution to put the heater, the temperature measurement units, and uh, you know the circuits and one is communication system on the nozzle with a very compact size. I mean that's a very courageous <laughs> approach, and I couldn't have believed him if he hadn't designed the shutter system for one of the most expensive camera in the world, and he successfully reduced the form factor of the shutter system. And then we say, okay. If you say you can do so, let's give it a try. And after a few months, he had a very, say, basic prototype, prove that he can done that. At that moment, we kind of stop the debates and discussion. We fall in love with that very elegant solution, and we kick off X1, uh, HUC. Uh, that was around, I think, early. 2023, yeah. The whole R&D process took way longer time than we have expected. And, uh, almost one year longer. Now we had hundreds of printers, hundreds of X1C prototypes sitting or printing in our test print farms. But one after another, we found bugs, we found problems. You know, we have to redesign a certain subsystem. We need to improve software. You know, until today, you know, we finally believe you know, that you know, beloved baby is ready to be launched. Great. And uh, on a personal basis, uh, as an individual, how do you like uh, the H2C? Do you, use it, do you use it and what do you use it for? Okay. I have to say I love H2C more than I had expected. You know, I had, I used to have a fleet of printers in my, on the floor of my office. A1 Mini, A1 PLRS, X1C, you know, I have a whole line of printers sitting on the floor of my office. And now I, have, I had only one printer, that is H2C. Now, before I use my H2C, I have to say I have doubt. You know, it's a very complicated system, especially considering I had the a prototype H1C instead of the final you know, punished product. I 
you know, I worry that maybe, you know, it will break down from time to time, I have to repair it, it will be a pain. Uh, it turned out to be very reliable and it became my working horse. And I, I use H2C in a very different way than I had expected. You know, before I started to use H H2C, I believe that this is a tool changer. I will use it for multicolor printing. And in the end, I only used to do multi-color printing for, I think, 25% of the time. And uh, I love it so much for various tasks because you know, I now print with different nozzles from time to time. You know, we rarely change the nozzle before H2C. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a very complicated process. You have, really have to dismount everything, mount everything, you know, it's time consuming. It's very much like changing filament before MS. You know, before we you know, launch the MS, people try to avoid changing filaments because you have to heat up the nozzle, code pull the filament, cut the tip, reload it, hit the nozzle again, and prime it manually. It's time consuming. And uh, people are lazy. You know, they try <laughs> to not to do so. And it goes the same to the nozzle. You know, we rarely change the nozzle, despite we know for some project, it's so much better if you print with 0.2 millimeter nozzle, or for some other project, it's so much better to print with 0.6. But you know, laziness sometimes talk you out of it. But right now, I have different diameter of nozzle mounted on the rack. So I have two MS Pro plus one MS HD mounted with the printer. So I have the most of the you know, most frequent used filament and most frequently used nozzles ready to go. You know, whenever I choose a project, I choose the right uh, filament and nozzle and click print to go. So, I know, I mean, you can do it manually, it's fine, but uh, laziness sometimes really is the key element to push the technology forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need to be willing to push yourself to do it then. Yeah. And besides that, you know, HUC provides more than just, you know, tool changing. It has high temperature nozzle, heated chamber, you know, high precision moving motion system, and a very serious filtration system. I mean, that's why I use for all kinds of my projects. You know, it's, it's, for me, it's, a, it's an uncompromised printer. You know, I can use for all kinds of projects without, you know, worrying whether this is the right printer to do, to go. I mean, that's the right printer to do everything. I mean, that's why I think before I use it, I thought, yeah, it's a multi-material, multi, you know, color printer. And in the end, I realized, no, it's just uncompromised flagship printer. And I love it so much. I retired most of my <laughs> old printers and put it in a different, different room beside my office. Yeah. So you replaced all your printers. What do you think are the shortcomings or limitations of the HPC? Well, thank you very much. That's a very rare question <laughs> during a launch of new product. <laughs> but I'm okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, no product is perfect. You know, just like X X1C is a very popular printer. We started thinking about the next generation of it before we finish line B. It's still the same for H2C. I think for one, the H2C you still, you know, have to print the the prime tower, like every other tool changer on the market right now. And prime tower consume or waste filaments. I mean, that's the obvious problem we have to overcome in the future. And the second is, I mean, the cost. Obviously, you know, the system is still quite complicated. Despite we tried our best to you know, to reduce cost, to make cost effective, is still a bit, you know, more expensive than we, we would love it to be. So I think there are many things need to be done here to make it, say, to be the go-to printer for everyone instead of, you know, the high-end flagship printer. So the question is, is there anything else we haven't talked about uh, that you would like to share to the world? And I really want to give you a few words about the nodal system, which we are absolutely proud of, okay? And uh, yeah, there you go. 
And at first glance, it's just like a normal noodle, you know, very compact. You, you, you even no, cannot notice that's a very complicated advanced system. But in fact, it's everything, you know, above a traditional, you know, hot end or hot end assembly. You know, you, we use the conduction to heat the nozzle. You know, that's nothing new. Somebody have already done that. And uh, we basically use something like a wireless charger to power the circuit board. So the circuit board can measure the temperature and transmit all the data back to the tool head with wireless communication. You, you see wireless charger everywhere and you see you know, wireless communication system everywhere. But uh, you know, we managed to design everything so we can put everything together with the surface area of a basic your thumbnail. And that was a very daring design approach you know, when we started this project. And uh, to do so, you know, we cannot simply put you know, an induction heater, a wireless charger, a wireless communication board together you know, to have this. We really have to design everything from the scratch. And for the communication, for example, you know, we don't use and Bluetooth or Zigbee, we really have to rewrite the whole communication basically from the physical layer up to get it done in such a you know, compact form factor and cost-effective way. Yeah. Okay, and when you say cost-effective, that comes all around for? Uh, for the standard nozzle, it's only $39 okay. with you know, the nozzle, uh, heat sink, uh, one is charger, communication board, everything. Yeah. So, so that's pretty cheap for a, for a technological tool like this. All right. Uh, well, I think we've went around everything we wanted to today. Uh, maybe one of the last thing that remains to say uh, is that people can find more information now uh, on the website because the release is official mm -hmm. from a few minutes ago. Uh, and well, yeah, thank you very much for that. Uh, we are happy to have you with us here as well at Form Next. And uh, don't hesitate to take your microphone back if you want to. Uh, and yeah, if, uh, if people are at Form Next, we can invite them to pop up at the booth. And yeah, I'll leave you the, the final words to it. Many thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, as I always say, you know, being a CEO of a company can be a very shitty job. You have to deal with shit every day. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I really love form next. You know, every time I came here, I feel recharged with motivation because I can meet friends, you know, I can see how people use our tools, how they can start their own business, how they love the product. I mean, it's, it's a big the motivation recharging process. And I uh, really love it. Love to meet friends, old and new. And uh, yeah, see everyone on the booth. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Dr. Tao. Thanks everyone for watching. If you're at form next, of course, feel welcome to come. And otherwise, once again, feel free to go on the website of Bamboo Lab where you can find all the information about the new H2C. Uh, and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.